you will see on the ddronetracker.ai's user interface a light blue bubble around the Skydio drone. This is a three-dimensional cylindrical volume that defines a well-clear zone as defined by FAA regulation. You can see on the user interface that there is a plane detected by ADSB within the well-cleared zone. However, it is not triggering an alert. This is because the plane is well above the cylindrical volume, with the drone flying at 130 meters altitude and the plane flying at around 1 kilometer altitude. On the bottom right, you will see an unverified radar track approaching the Skydio X10. Keep in mind, this is a radar-only track with no classification associated with it. As time goes on and Dijon Tracker AI detects data, we see the unverified radar track switches classification to a plane. This is because Dijon Tracker.ai's machine learning-based radar classifier determined the target was a plane, even without the use of ADSB. The threat of collision between the DFR drone and the plane increases as time goes on due to the encroachment of the plane. GDroneTracker.ai notices that the plane is the highest threat target and slews its PDZ camera to it, providing a clear picture of the target before it enters the DFR zone. The tracking of the PDZ camera is enabled by DDroneTracker.ai's deep learning based object detection model Pythagoras. The plane enters the well cleared zone, turning the zone red and then alerting the operator of the threat. The operator makes an avoidance maneuver, flying back towards the base. The plane then exits the zone turning it back to light blue and notifying the operator it is safe to resume operations once again. Another threat is approaching from the north, a low-flying helicopter being detected on both radar and ADSB. The PC camera switches from plane to the helicopter and tracks it as it approaches the DFR well-clear zone. As the helicopter enters the DFR bubble, it turns red, alerting the operator of the threat. The operator decided that the best avoidance maneuver is to descend and land the X-10. As the drone drops in altitude, you can see that the bubble turns back to light blue. This is because the helicopter is now out of the drone's well-clear zone, allowing law enforcement to resume their operations. 